Someone posted this picture in my silhouette group and was asking if it was possible to do this effect in Silhouette Studio. And it is possible. It's a two-step process, but it's simple enough. And you can always save my video in your favorites uh, so that you can always refer back to it if you need to in the future. So in this case, this is not where images are being shown on the letters because if you look at let's say the letter R here part of it is in silver and part of it is in blue this is broken up and this is not the blue part is not a picture it's just color and if you look all around the image you'll see that that there's a cutout there so what's happened is this image has knocked out where the letters are okay so I'm gonna show you how that's done so I'm starting with this silhouette of a lady that I traced and I'm going to color, I'm going to add some color to that so that it will be easy to see what's happening here. And I'm going to add some text. I'm going to use impact font and I'm going to type some text. Okay, so I'm using quite a bit of text because there's a lot of detail in her face and I want to make sure that that's going to show up because when let's say we put this in the middle over here. If you put it like this, the nose is not going to show up because you're going to be only cutting out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my text so that there's less line spacing in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to bring that down quite a bit and then bring my image back and you'll see a lot more detail is going to be captured this way. Okay, So I'm going to make my image a little bit smaller so that it fits within the text. Maybe a little bit taller. Okay, and then I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to take my text and I'm going to fill that with color as well. I'm going to use red here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and you see that the image is now behind the text and you don't want that. You want your image to be in front of the text. So I right clicked and I'm going to bring that to the front. And so now your black is on top. So I'm going to group this and the only reason I'm grouping this is so that it's going to be easier to move my second copy out of the way. So I right click then group and now I'm right clicking and I'm copying and then I'm going to right click and paste. So now I'm going to drag this one out of the way and because it's grouped it's easy to do that. And now I'm going to ungroup both of them. Okay, and so remember the silhouette of the lady is on top and the text is behind. I'm going to choose all of this and I'm going to go to my modify window and I'm going to click crop. And you'll see that the only thing left now is the letters where the silhouette of the lady was. Now I'm going to choose both of these parts and remember for both of them you need to drag a box around so that you have both images selected and I can see that because I have bounding box around my text and I have a bounding box around the silhouette. So now with this selected I'm going to click subtract. And now you see the only thing that's left over here is the text without the silhouette. So I want to make sure that I choose all of these parts of the text and group that. And I want to make sure that I choose all of this and group it so that nothing is going to be moving out of the way. And I'm going to change this back to black by choosing the color fill window and clicking black. And I'm going to change the line color as well so that there's no confusion. It will also be black. Move this back into place. And then when I move this over here, you have exactly that same effect. Okay, so now you can zoom in to make sure that this is lined up exactly right. And also when you cut the two different parts out, 
and you use clear transfer paper, you can make sure that they fit exactly right. And you can use little transfer marks, uh, registration marks on your vinyl to make sure that they line up exactly right. And the way to do that, let me zoom out again to the full screen. Just take little squares. They're the same shape, copy and paste. And I'm just going to drag this over to here. I'm going to choose the two boxes and I'm going to align them at the top. Okay, so now I've aligned them to the top and I'm going to group these two so that they don't move out of the way when I'm trying to do things. I'm going to copy and paste. Move this out of the whoops, move this out of the way. They're still grouped, so they move together. I'm going to color this one red with a red fill, and I'm going to put a black fill in this one. So that when you cut in layers by color you're going to have your registration marks on both of the things that you cut out. So I'm going to bring this closer down to my image or to, the, to my design and then I'm going to align both of these to the bottom. Right over here and I'm going to align both of them to the left or the right. doesn't matter which one you choose. This way they're going to align exactly right. So now let's say that I want to cut this. Now it's not seeing my cameo, so uh, let's go to cut settings and go into advanced. Now I can choose my colors if I want to cut only the black parts, sorry, only the red parts. I keep the red part checked. And once I've cut the red part, then I choose black and I cut only the black part. And it will, of course, cut the black registration mark as well. And then you can group all of this together just to make sure nothing moves. And you're all set. If you want, actually, let me ungroup this. If you wanted this part to be slightly inset so that it shows a little bit of a border, what you can do is you can take this, go into the offset window, and create a tiny offset, an internal offset. I'm going to click apply, and then I'm going to move this out of the way. And that was a little bit too much because you see there's quite a bit of a difference. So I'm going to undo that. Okay, so there's no offset applied yet, and I'm going to just choose. 0.02 and click apply. And let's see how that turns out. I think that's better. So let's fill this with, whoops, I'm going to choose all of this, fill it with black. I'm going to group it and move that down over here. And I'm going to zoom in so that we can see exactly what's going on. And when I move this into place, you have that little bit of an offset if you like that look. Okay, so hope that's been helpful to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you always have access to these tips. And thanks so much for watching.